Welcome back to DDT After Hours. This time, the story is the worst airshare ever. ever. And airshares are pretty rare for me. I've got over a couple thousand dies, maybe close to a few thousand, and I think I've had like five legitimate airshares, and this is one of them, and it's definitely the worst one. And I'll set the scene. So it was, I think, about 10 years ago, and it was on a nice little island called Oshima, which is part of Tokyo. Some of our best trips are from there. If, uh, if an Oshima trip ever comes up, you should definitely join, as it's otherworldly, man. It's really it's getting away from Tokyo. It's a fantastic dive spot. It has one of my favorite dive uh, locations ever, um, Akinohama. And that is where this airshare happened. So, I was at Akinohama, and I was with uh, my dive group, my, my dive club, and let's see, we were at the end of a dive at Akinohama, and we were just about to come up, this, the, um, it's a ladder that uh, comes out, and uh, the exit, and here's how it works. So, you've got, uh, you're, you're going to see the picture here, so you've got kind of, it's, it's a rock that comes out into the water, and uh, at, at tide, where we were, like, if you're standing, your head is probably about five meters above the water, above the water line. And then at the exit, the water is about five meters deep. And we're at the, the bottom of this ladder. I just let a dive. We had a fantastic dive. It was a, a handful of divers. And I was there with, uh, with my wife, actually. And, and one of the dive members offered, hey, you know, motioning, right? Of course, we're underwater, so there's no speaking. Do you want me to take a picture of you with your wife? And I was like, hey, sure. So I was posing with my wife, hanging out, uh, my back is to the ladder, and I'm looking off into the water where behind my, my dive master, who's, who's about to take the picture, and rushing past my dive master comes this torpedo of a diver, and in front of the diver, this diver's holding on to the largest underwater camera you've ever seen. Um, <laughs> it's like... One of those cameras at a football stadium, you see like these guys with, you know, and the chair with, with the, the camera and really old school. And I think I've got the model up here. I, I've seen it. I saw it after that. It, it's a Sony. It's a really old school Sony. The dive housing, I mean, the, the camera is probably about that big. And it has this case that's even bigger. It looks like a huge torpedo. Anyway, comes barreling past my dive master like a torpedo. And he looks like a torpedo because he's holding this thing. Hits me in the gut. And... Uh, I'm focused on the camera of the dive master, so I really, what, what's happening, hitting me, isn't really registering. So I thought it was a joke. I thought it was one of my divers kind of messing around. And so down near my, my finally, it, it gets kind of long, right? There's, there's this diver messing around, down near my groin. And finally, I take and I, I slap the back of this diver's head, and I'm like, what's going on? And this face looks up that doesn't look like any of my divers. And uh, I'm just like, you know, meaning, what's up? And uh, the diver, you know, messing around and then whoosh, shows me his air gauge. And the air gauge is like at zero. And I was like, whoa. So I donate my air. I have a long hose set up. So hoses, you've got, for those of you who aren't familiar, you've got usually a 40 inch setup like is the, pretty much the standard. You can have a five, five foot hose or a six foot or seven foot. Mine is between six and seven foot. And it gives you the most distance between you and an air share recipient. That's what I have. That's what I always have these days. So bam, give him my, uh, my long hose. I've got my back up, which is around my neck. So he's breathing, he's got his air. I assume he's happy. And then I look at him, right behind me is the ladder to the surface. And so I'm like, all right, let's go up, right? Let's go. And he's like, no, 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 no. and I'm like, he doesn't want to go up. And he's like, no, no, no. he goes down and he's looking at it. And he shows me his dive computer. Now, now this is, this is 10 years plus ago, right? And there are lots of different computers. And I looked at this thing, right? Of course, you know, my mind is a little, a little bit panicked, a little bit disturbed, right? Because, you know, I've got this, this person who, I don't know what's going on. I don't know him. It's a little irrational. He's out of air. Now he doesn't want to go up. Show me this computer. And on the screen, 
I'm looking at it, just everything is happening. I, I'm hearing beeps and buzzers and there are arrows and flashing. And I'm looking at this thing, I'm like, oh man, what is going on? And then, ah, I got it. He's got about 20 minutes of deco left before he can surface. And I'm like, oh, good grief. How did this guy do? Okay, all right, fine. So I, I've got an underwater notepad actually. Uh, and I write a note to my dive master who's with the group. Meanwhile, my whole group is just like, right, what, what's going on? So I write a note to my dive master and, and I hand it to him and I said, listen, um, take the group out of the water and uh, please arrange to send down a tank of air because I don't know if I have 20 minutes worth of air for me and this guy, I don't know what rate he breathes at. I said, send a tank. And he's like, okay. Takes up the group. Bam. You know, I, I spread my hose out. It's me, this guy. We're, we're kind of relaxing. Uh, you know, at the bottom of the ladder is about five, 5.5 meters. Um, just kind of hanging out. We have whatever, 15, 20 minutes left. And we're, we're hanging out there. And I'm just waiting. I'm thinking, well, at some point in time, uh, you know, somebody is going to bring down a tank of air. No, no, no. <laughs> That's too easy. So somebody up there had decided that they, they took a 12 liter steel tank full of air, okay, which is really heavy. And, and it has a regulator. They put a regulator on top, of course, you know, so someone could breathe. And then just in case that didn't sink, it's, it's always going to sink. But just in case, they wrapped a weight belt full of weights on the 12 liter steel tank, right? And then someone took it and threw it the five meters, right? So it's, it's, it's up here on the rocks. It's going to travel five meters in the air, right? Before it hits the water and then comes down gingerly to the bottom near us. And the thing hit the bottom something like this like an atomic freaking explosion right between us. I mean, it would have killed either one of us if it had hit us. And so by this time, I don't know, maybe maybe 10, 10 minutes has gone by. And uh, so this thing rockets to the ground and hits and he, he has maybe 10 minutes left. He goes and checks it out, right? He, he breathes off that regulator, check it out. It's working, it's full, it's got, it's a full tank. It's, it, it'll last him a lifetime at 5.5 meters. And uh, so I take, I take my regulator back, I go up, I'm up at the top, I'm a hero, people, you know, the crowds, you know, doing the wave, you know, my first real air share. And then up at the top, they're, they're telling me about this guy and he's kind of notorious on this little island for doing crazy stuff. Turns out he's an instructor, that's a secret. And he's kind of notorious for, for I don't know, having bad judgment. <laughs> Okay, so then, yeah, my gear is off, I'm up at, the guy comes up, and he comes over and he thanks me, oh, thank you, you know, for, for the air share, and, uh, and then he, he tells me, he says, uh, oh, yeah, I had an air leak, and that's why I was in that trouble. So I'm thinking, you know, well, what did an air leak have to do with 20 minutes of deco, you know? So, you know, my guess, my guess is this fella um, lost track of his air management. Because uh, I didn't see any air bubbles, right? I mean, an air leak, I mean, anyway, I, I think my guess is he, he lost track of his air management and he went into deco without knowing it and was going to come out and then realized, boo, what am I going to do, man? I, 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 I gotta, I've got no air. I've got 20 minutes of deco and I got to get out of here. Right. So probably what happened because I doubt his plan was to run up 20 minutes of deco on a single 10 liter tank. I don't think that was the plan, but what do I know? And what do I care? Right. But, uh, so a lesson to, to folks out there is that, uh, a dive computer can can make all the minutes of deco right it, it's good at making deco but it can't make air so if you're you know, if your dive computer is running up deco make sure that you plan before that you have the air uh to to write the check for that deco time that has racked up on your computer okay 
Hope you enjoyed that, uh, that story. Maybe you got a lesson out of it. I will see you the next time uh, after hours. Also, now that we're at the end, I almost forgot to add, let me know your airshare experiences. Do you have any bad ones? I guess they're all bad. There's no such thing as a good airshare experience, I think, right? Comment below and let me know your airshare experience.